This is Gemara Shabbos Daf Chav Ches Amid Aleph. We pick it up in the bottom of Chav Zayin Amid Viz, which we quote the Mishnah three lines from the bottom. That which comes out of a tree does not become Tame via Tomas Oyel when it is a Oyel, a roof. Over a mice, elapishton aside for flax. Says the Gemara Minalan. Where do we know this? Din from Amr of Yeshu, Amr of Elazar, Kamar Oyel Oyel. A classical Gezeira Shava. As we turn over to Chavches Amir Aleph. Mimishkan. Ksiv Achat says with regarding to Tama, the Din of Oyel. And again, the simple Din of Oyel is that when I have a roof, and I have a corpse underneath it, and I'm underneath it, I become Tamei via the oil transmitting the corpse Tama to anyone underneath the same roof. So, says over here, this is the Taira of one who dies in an oil. And it says, by the Mishkan, the Yifrois, as a oil, ala Mishkan. So, Malahalan, by the Mishkan, shall Bishan, Kari oil. Why the Mishkan? We know that the covering of the Mishkan was made out of flax. And um, it's called an oil, linen, pishton. Afghan shall pishton, curry, oil. So too over here, when it comes to pishton, it's called an oil. Uh, therefore, there'll be the din of transmitting Toma for the mace. Imala, Lan asked the Gemara one second by the Mishkan Shizurin. It wasn't any type of Pishtan, it was twisted threads. And we know that the threads of the Mishkan were special. They were sixfold, six different items spun into one thread. Avkan, maybe we should say the same thing by Tomas Ayel Shizurin, Vachutin Kaval Shisha. Tamalaymar Ayel Ayel Bariba. The actual word of Ayel teaches us. To any type of thread, any type, excuse me, of pishton will be makabel toma, tomas oil, even if it's not shizurin and kafel shisha. Says the one second. E oil oil riba, the classical kasha, if you come to be marbe, afilu komi li nami. So maybe it's marbe everything. Why just include the non sixfold, the non doubled up threads? Maybe includes all threads. M. Cain says the Gemara, Xir Shav Mayahani. Then what would the Xir Shav do equating Tomas Oyel to the Mishkan? Ve'ema, so says the Gemara, okay. Ve'ema, let's try another Kasha, Malal and Krushin. Maybe just like by the Mishkan. It says Oyel. And there are, the Mishkan was composed of Krushim of wooden beams. Afghan crush him, so too by crush him, meaning maybe wood should as well have a din of Tomas Oyel. And yet, what do the Mishnah say? Of course, wood. And if he comes out of AIDS, is not to be coupled to aside for Pishton. Why? It should be like the crush him, which is even wood. Says the Gemara Makram. Vasisa sa krushim la mishkan. So the mishkan, kari mishkan, the covering is called the mishkan, but the kuruyan is not called the mishkan. The in krushim, excuse me, kuruyan mishkan, that's made into the mishkan. Elameyata asked the Gemara if this is true. Vasisa mechsal oil says the boss, they create a covering for the oil about 13 lines down. First word in line is law oihel. When the Basli says that the Mishra's covering should be a mirsei, hachanami, mirsei lo yekri oihel. Say that the cover is not the oil, so it's because there's vice a mirsei le oihel. So the covering is not the oil itself. Ella, but if that was true, on the way of Lazar, which of Lazar are asked, Arbe ima tameo mashi tamba oil amis. Is there a din of Tomas Mace on the hides of a non kosher animal? Has to Arbe Matahira lay Mitame. But now, if you're telling me that the Arbe Matahira is not Mitame, why is it not Mitame? Because that's the Mixe, that's the cover, le oil, but not the oil itself. Arbe Matameh mi bai. So for the Shiloh of Rabbi Lazar, it's clear 
that the R of the Bema Tahira is yes, Mitame Oyel. Mara's question is why? It says, Mixel Le Oyel. Clearly, even though it says La Oyel, it's not a problem. So now we circle back around, even though you're making the Kurashim La Mishkan, should be the same thing. Answers the Gemara, shiny Hasam. By the mechsel la oil, the animal hides other kur, the hadar a hadre kra. The pasuk goes back and says, "Dechsev benasis yiris a mishkan ve'es oil moid mechsev mechsev tachosh et shera lof makish el yoyin letachtain." The upper animal hides is equated to the lower animal hides. Matachtain is called the actual oil yiris a mishkan ve'es oil moid. It's called the oil itself. Av el yoyin kari oil, so it's no question. So yes, the behemoth tahira is mekabel tuma. Yes, Rabbi Lazar had a shaila whether about behemoth tamea, but wood will not be mekabel tumas oil, as the Mishnah taught us. Kol yitzim bina eight is not mekabel tumas oil chutz, except for pishton. Says the Gemara kufa smack the middle of chavchasim and aleph the two dots kufa. Boi Rabbi Lazar, let's go deep into the question that we just brought up. Rabbi Lazar shaila. Of our behemoth to meya, ma'u sheitame tumas oilin says Gemara. My kamei oilin. What exactly is his kasha? Those items were not used in the Mishkan, so of course there's no din of tuma on them. Amar Ravad Barava Tachash Ebe Moshe Kamei Bayale. He was asking about the Tachash animal, which was used as part of the covering for the Mishkan. That was in the days of Moshe Rabbeinu. Tameu Aitaru. What was that animal? Was it a Tame or a Tahar animal? Amr Rav Yisim, Mighty Baile, what's your kasha? Tanina Tzabraisa. Lo yochshu l'melech shamayim al-ar behema tahira bulvad. That which is used for melech shamayim, and we're assuming the covering of the Mishkan is included in that category, is only behema tahira. So the tachash must have been a bahar behema tahira. So of course, anything which is not tahar would not be mekabal tamam. Masiv Rav Abba asks Rav Abba, Rav Yehuda Oimer teaches Rav Yehuda, Shnei Mechsa Yisayu, there were two covers over the Mishkan, Echa Echa Shalai Rezilim Meodamim, Red Rams, Vecha Rezilim Meodamim, Of Tachashim, Rav Nechem Yoimer, No Mechsa Echa Rezilim was one covering, It was half red in Rams and half Tachash, it was half Eilim, excuse me, and half Eilim Adamim. V'dayim it came in Tela Elon, and it looked, the Tachash looked like a Tela Elon. V'at Tela Elon Tamehu. So it says the Gemara, you're assuming that the Tachash is Pashit Tahar, but we know that the Brisa says it was like a Tela Elon, which is Tamei. Explains the Gemara, he comes, how would the Chemyu meant that it's actually Tamei? Came in! That the Tachash looked like Tlailan, who she's with Gavanim Harbi in many colors. But light Tlailan, it's not actually a Tlailan. Dilu Hasam over there, it is Tamei, whereas Hacha, it is Tahar. Amar Av Yosef Yachi, if this is true, that the Tachash is indeed a kosher animal, Hainan Dabratigan is Asgaina. This is why the translation of a Tachash is a Saskaina, which means. Shasas Bigvanim Harbi rejoices in its many colors, and that is the Tachash. Rav Amar says, Rav, he argues on Rav Yasef. Rav Yasef answered Rav Lazar Shaila that Bar Behema Tameya is Pashit, not Mikabel Toma, is Oyel, it's only Behema Tahira. Says, Rav Ar Behema Tameya, Demitame Bayel Ames Mehacha. I'll prove to you that the hides of an unkosher animal are indeed mekabel Thomas Mace. Before we get into this little bit of a lengthy brace, let's just get track over here. Rav Lazar had a shayla. What's the status of our behemoth Tameya? Rav Yosef answered, it's Pashit. Only the tacha, only the kosher animals, of course, created a uh, Thomas Oyel, but not other items. From there said the Gemara, that Rava disagrees, and Rava says even non-kosher hides would create would create a Tomas Oyel, would create an Oyel that would transmit the Tomas Ames. Titania proves Rava that the Ar Behema Tameya would have Tomas Oyel. Ar says the Pasig by Saras, the Pasig says Ar Oy Be'ar. 
It doesn't say R. Rather, what does it say? Or R. Reba R. Behema Tameya. So that Apostle says that Saras would, yes, have Toma even on Behema Tameya. Shalaka Biyad Kain. And uh, R that was inflicted in the hands of a Kain. Kotsats Mikulan Vasa Echad Mihen Minyayin. Where do we know? If you cut pieces from different garments and you made one garment together of all the different pieces, how do we know it can, yes, can we come tombe from Saras? So therefore, there's yes, Toma on such an entity. Says the Gemara, we can ask. So from here, the Gemara wants to say that just like there is Toma of the Bahar Be'im Tumeyo with regard to Tsaras, same thing would be with regard to Tomas Oyo. Bikle Mifrach, Malin Egoyim, when it comes to scratching Chassi Varev Tommy Behen. Whereas when it comes to Tomas Mace, there's no din of Chassi Varev, only a real beget. Elegom Army Shratzim, rather, Rav learns it out from Shratzim de Tanya. Or, Ainli Ella Arbeim Tahir, Arbeim Tumeyo Minayin. So we see that even a behemoth tomeya is mekabel Tomas Sharet. So the Gemara wants to say, says Rav, it's also mekabel Tomas Oyel. But says the Gemara, you know, I can ask you. What do you mean? Shratim have a chomer on this. Be, this reminds us of the Amun from yesterday. That Shratim have unique chomer that it's metam even a small, small size size of a lentil. So we're learning it out. The Rav is learning it out from Sheretz and Saras. Hasad Hashavim Sha'ar Tameya Bahen that R becomes Tame Vasa R Behema Tameya Kar Behema Taira. And the common denominator of Sheretz and Sheretz is that both of them, the R Behema Taira, even is Mekabal Tama. Afan he says, Rava of the oil ame shear tame body, nas arbe tamea kaar behima te hai ra. And that is where Rava learns out why there is a dinner Tomas Oihel, even on Behima Tamea, from the Tsarashave of Tsaras and Tomas Shratim.